Hi everyone, this is Luxtos, and today I'm about to bring you another Diablo 4 video for a leveling guide. This one is going to be for Druid. We're going to do Poison Werewolf build. This one is going to be really, really cool. This is something that hasn't been fully tested because the ability was having some issue in the beta. It was still doing really, really good damage, really nice. It was super fun to play with, but not a lot of people were playing it because it was having some issues. But I think you're going to have a ton of fun leveling as the spec. You're going to have some minion. You're going to be doing poison damage that are going that are just going to spread everywhere. If you've ever enjoyed the play style, maybe of a death knight in World of Warcraft, sp spreading plague across everybody, this is going to be really, really fun. You're going to get a ton of poison damage. Everything is going to be slow and mobilized and just dying. It's going to be really, really fun. There's no required legendary. Everything is really easy to get and super fun. So uh, that being out of the way, let's just let's just get in there. Druid has so many cool specs. There's so many cool builds you can do. And this, I think, thematically is one of my favorite one. I used to love uh, Poison Werewolf back in Diablo 2. That was really, really fun. So I went ahead and uh, we built another one here for the Druid. And we're going to be using it for Diablo 4. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview here of all the skills that you're going to be using and what does it look like if you want to progress further? And then we're going to go point by point, listing them, learning them, and showing you how it's built up. You're going to be using Storm Strike. It's just way more solid than Claw, even if Claw allows you to do a little bit of poison damage. It's just way better in terms of damage reduction. You get damage reduction. It also gives you free vulnerability. So, I mean, at this point, you can't say no. You're going to be using Shred as a main damaging uh, spender. That's going to be really, really good. Uh, you're going to be having Earthen Bulwark as a defensive layer, and this is empowered quite a lot with uh, a legendary that you can easily obtain. You're going to get Poison Creeper and Wolf, so this is going to help you out, dish out that poison. It's going to have extra duration. It's just going to do insane amount of damage. Even with one point, it's going to be really, really good. You're going to have your Wolves. That's going to be really good. You're going to have your uh, Rabies. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing some stuff. English is not my first language. I still have issues specifically with this word and a couple of others. But uh, there we go. So Rabies uh, is going to be your main uh, poison ability. And it's just going to spread at an insane uh, 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 speed. And it's just going to just melt everything on the battlefield. It's going to be really, really cool. Really, really fun. 12 second CD. And then you're going to get a lot of passive here. So no ultimate. You don't really need Lacerate. We're just going to go for shape-shifting uh, bonuses because we're going out of werewolf form every time we use Storm Strike. So we get some nice bonuses that we can get here. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it. So instead of just leaving you here and telling you good luck, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put points by points and follow along here. I have some notes. Bear with me. Uh, it's, a, it's a long list. So sometimes I get confused about I just want to make sure that I do it in the right order. But take this with a grain of salt because it's pretty much something that you should be adapting on the go. If you're taking too much damage, you're not tanky enough, feel free to change the order of some of the points. Uh, just refer yourself to the overall grid. You're like, okay, well, I kind of wish I took this before the other one here because right now I'm dying too much. I want to get that defensive layer. That would be really, really helpful. Feel free to modify things as you go. But this is just something that I would probably take in that order. Uh, if I feel confident about both my damage and my survivability. We're going to start off with Storm Strike and uh, Enhance Storm Strike to make sure that we get that sweet generator damage reduction. And uh, the immobilized part is nice, but it's mostly so we can get access to the next layer. And we're going to get Shred, Enhance Shred, and then we're going to go for the Fierce, uh, sorry, not the Fierce one, the Raging Shred. This one right here, which is going to give you the additional Poison which is going to help you out with the whole thematic of the build with Poison Creeper and with Rabies over here. So make sure you go for that Raging Shred here. This is going to be really, really nice, giving you that additional poison on all your abilities. So that's going to be really, really good. After getting this one, I like uh, to go get Fierce Storm Strike here, which is going to give me free vulnerable and unlock the next layer here, which is going to allow me to get my first defensive, Earthen Bulwark. So that's going to be really good. You're just going to be more tanky. And uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna feel a little bit more safe. At this point, I like to dump uh, all the rest of my point into getting my main core ability to level five. This is gonna allow your damage to scale as you level up, because often what people end up doing a big mistake is they they get pulled down into the tree, and their main core ability is still level one, and then everything is scaling as as the, as they're leveling, 
and they're not keeping up with the damage, right? So they get a lot of new ability, but then nothing hurts and nothing dies. So make sure you dump the five points in here. Make it do as much damage as possible really early on. That's going to be really, really good. Then we're going to go get that Poison Creeper. So we just unlocked the minion uh, section here. Poison Creeper is going to be really, really good. And Wolves, make sure that you press those on CD. Immobilize, Poison Damage, Extra Damage on a Focus Target. Really, really, really good. You're going to go for that Enhanced Poison Creeper. That's going to be really, really good. And then you're going to go for the Brutal right here. Uh, so you're, you're, you're going to get Increased Critical Strike Chance uh, 20%. Whenever anything is entangled by the creeper, which is kind of insane. So you want to line it up with, uh, you want to build up like your resources. You want to use it on an elite and then you want to dump your uh, resources into some shred to guarantee or, you know, like give you high probability of getting some crit and it's just going to do a lot of damage. Once we get the improvement here, we're going to go Enhance Wolf because we're going to prepare ourselves to go for the next layer pretty soon. But before we do that, we just unlock Rabies. So that would be uh, really bad to not get it. So we're going to get Rabies, which is going to be our main, uh, one of our really, really good ways of spreading our poison. So that's going to be really good. So you're going to get this one here. Then you're going to get Enhance. And then you're going to get Natural to allow it to spread even faster. So that's going to be a good chunk of damage uh, that is going to give you nice AoE damage on all the enemies here. That's going to be really, really fun. Uh, and then you're going to go for Heart of the Wild right here because I like to get abundance here so that you get a little bit more resources regen from Storm Strike in order to spend a little bit more shred. You're going to go for Enhanced Bulwark to give you that uh, Unstoppable because that's going to be the only way to get Unstoppable outside of a Legendary you're going to obtain. But this is going to be pretty nice. Uh, and then you're going to go for Ferocious Wolf to give you that Fortify, which is going to give you another layer of tankiness. So that's going to be really, really good. And then you're going to go for Neurotoxin. So now that everything is poison all over the place and you're quite tanky, it start to, uh, it's time to start applying some CC. So this is going to slow everything that is poisoned, which is going to work with anything that has uh, increased damage to crowd control enemy. Because uh, let's say that they get out of the immobilize, uh, they're also going to be slowed, which which counts as a uh, crowd control, which is pretty nice. So you're going to have the slow here, which is going to be really, really good. And right afterward, we're going to put a point in Venom and a point in Toxic Claw. We're going to come back and max these. You feel free to max them right now if you want to, but I would rather right now put all the points in Rabies right here. This is going to give me a lot of damage. We're going to fill these in later. They're going to be really, really good for... Uh, increasing all of our poison damage sources. Sources. We're going to put one point at the bottom here into Quick Shift. So whenever you Shape Shift, uh, you, you, whenever you turn into a different form, you will deal 5% extra damage. So that means if you Storm Strike Shred, Storm Strike Shred, for example, each of these will get 5% extra damage. Uh, but uh, if you get three points, it's going to be 15 just putting one point here unlocks our uh, mastery section. So you're going to go for that ferocity here, lupine ferocity. Uh, this is going to make it so that you get guaranteed critical strike every six skills, every six werewolf skills. And uh, you get increased critical strike damage on that ability. So that's going to be really, really strong. And then we're going to go back and fin finish quick shift for some extra damage. We're going to go back here and finish also and venom with two more points in here for extra poison damage. And then we're going to finish also toxic Claw right here. So that's going to be really, really good. Uh, we're then going to put three more points into, just let me, uh, I don't remember the name of all of them by heart. There we go. Predatory Instinct. That's going to give you a free 6% crit. So that's going to be really, really good. Your 6% crit in close enemy, which you're always going to be close. So you're always going to get the bonus out of it. That's going to be really, really cool. Uh, after the 6% crit, you can also go ahead and get in hate Bulwark, which is going to allow you to dish some additional damage, uh, which is going to be really, really good. Again, uh, you have the option here to run uh, the legendary over here that is going to extend the duration, and that's going to be pretty neat. So uh, that, that allows it to have some extra duration and then a nice little burst at the end. If you feel like you need a little bit more fortify, if the wolf aren't able to keep it up high enough and uh, and you're struggling with keeping the fortified over your 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 health, 
uh, feel free to swap, right? If you don't need the bonus damage and you want to be a little bit tankier, feel free to do so. But I like to get a little bit of extra damage, especially since you're going to be in melee. This is just going to be a free little burst that you're going to be able to get. Uh, then we're going to go for three points into Call of the Wild, which is actually going to be your minion. There we go. Three points into Call of the Wild. So that's going to be 30% bonus damage on the poison of your creeper and the damage from your wolf. So that's going to be really good. You're going to go three points into Ancestral Fortitude, which is going to be uh, damage reduction. Again, feel free to get this sooner if you want to be a little bit more tanky. If you feel like you're struggling with non-physical damage. Feel free to take this a little bit sooner. I just get it at this rate because you're already getting some nice defensive layer. So feel free to take this a little bit sooner here. Uh, then we're going to go three points into Heightened Senses. This is going to give you even more damage reduction. Uh, so this is going to be really, really good. And then you can go for uh, Wild Impulse. This is going to give you additional damage, uh, but it's going to make your ability cost more spirit. The reason that I get it this late is that you want to make sure that you're, gen you're regening enough resources so that you don't hinder yourself. Uh, so this is going to be really nice a little bit later. That's why I pick it a little bit later here. Uh, this is going to be really, really good to get. It's going to give you very good damage for just a little bit more cost and spirit. But I like to get it a little bit later uh, when I have uh, a little bit more attack speed and everything is just a little bit more smooth. And then feel free to put the last two point pretty much anywhere you want. Uh, you can put like one point free here uh, in, in, in this one here for some extra uh, movement speed, which can be kind of nice. And then you can put an extra point here in defensive posture uh, if you would like to increase the amount of fortify that you're gaining from the wolf. So that's going to be pretty neat. But at the end of the day, you can pretty much go anywhere with this point. Um, you can you can go for extra fortifies here. Uh, every time you shape shift, you can go for extra fortify here. Uh, there, there's like a lot of things. If you feel like you want to maybe make your poison creeper a little bit stronger, you could take out those two points here, put poison creeper, you know, uh, feel free, feel free to do, feel free to do anything with those two points. They're pretty much random. I decided to get these. You get a little bit movement speed, which is nice. It persists after uh, a little bit here and you get extra bonus on fortify. So this is what the final tree will look like. And you're going to be pretty much ready to slap here. Uh, after this, we are going to move on to the boons. So the spirit boons here. So you're going to go for your damage reduction uh, from elite. So that's going to be nice. There's not anything here that's really needed. Uh, so I like to take the damage reduction from elites. Really, really nice. Uh, critical strike damage. Really, really good. Uh, if you feel like you don't have enough crit, but you should have enough crit. Uh, you have something, remember, that gives you 20% uh, crit when everything is immobilized uh, from your poison creeper. So I kind of prefer to get the critical strike damage in this instance. This is going to allow you to hit really, really hard in those windows, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Pack leader is always really, really good when leveling. Those minion are going to dish out an incredible amount of damage. So make sure you have this. Every time you crit, you're going to have a lucky chance uh, proc to be able to reset all of the cooldowns of, the, of their ability, which means more poison vine immobilize, more poison damage, more wolf attack. It's just going to be really, really good overall. And then damaging, uh, dealing damage as a chance to restore 10 spirit. So this is just going to help you with your spirit regen. This is going to be really, really good. And then we're going to go with uh, Mesochistic. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that one right. Critical Strike will heal you. So this is going to be your massive defensive layer. You're going to be critting all the time. You're just Your health is just going to keep going up nonstop, uh, especially when you immobilize everything with a Creeper. 25% uh, 20 additional crit chance. You're just going to be healing nonstop. It's going to be super nice. And uh, it's just going to keep you alive through that bulwark, right? So that's what that's what you're going to do. This is what your skills are going to look like here on your bar. This is how I would place them myself. And uh, we're going to move on to the legendary aspect and the gem. So legendary aspect wise, uh, pretty much all of these are codex that you can find from dungeon or campaign progression, which means that you don't have to get lucky. To, to get any of these. There's no drop in here. Everything can be obtained from a dungeon or story progression. So we're going to go through each of them and you're going to see what we're talking about here. Uh, aspect of disobedience, just free armor, really, really good. You want to make sure you get this. It's just make you extra tanky in melee. It's really, really good. There's no question about this one. 
uh, aspect of the Mending Stone that I talked a little bit earlier. It's going to increase the duration of Earthen Bulwark to six seconds. Uh, by six seconds, sorry. So three plus six, nine. And it has a 16 second cooldown. So you're going to have a six second, uh, seven second downtime. Uh, so that's really, really, really good. Um, the second part of it, you're never going to trigger it with this build. But it doesn't matter. Just the extended duration is massive. Because most of the time what ends up happening with Earth and Bulwark is with three second, you have to use it to time it perfectly on a hit. And a lot of the time you'll miss that or it's not going to do as much damage as you thought. And then you end up, it goes away after three seconds and you're like, oh. So this one is just going to give you a nice half your health, pretty much uh, barrier for a large amount of time. Really, really good. Pretty straightforward glove of the expectant. So just more core skill damage every time you use your basic skill, free damage. That's good. Aspect of the protector. That's going to give you a barrier every time you attack an elite. That's just really, really good. Free uh, defensive layer. That's always good. You always want that. Uh, a looting aspect, I recommend it for every single class that doesn't necessarily have a really, really good escape from uh, from crowd control. So we do uh, have access to the bulwark that's going to make us uh, unstoppable, but you don't want to use this to free yourself from cooldown because, I mean, you, you want to use it, but you probably want to use it on CD to mitigate damage, which means it's not going to be available and we don't use Tremple, right? So having this is really good. It's just going to free you from uh, from crowd control effect and grant you unstoppable when you're injured in CC. Core uh, skill deal additional damage for each active companion. So you have the wolf, you have the creeper. That's just going to be 6% or 8%. I mean, in the case of the codex, it's going to be 6 times uh, 2. So 12% free damage. Always, always like that. That's a good free, uh, free damage. After killing an enemy, an enemy with Shred, your next Werewolf skill will generate more Spirit. We don't care about that part because we don't have a Werewolf generator. But every time you kill something with Shred, the next Shred does 20% more damage. Why not? That's just going to help you kill pretty much everything in front of you. So that's going to be really, really good. Stormclaw here. Uh, critical Strike with Shred it deals uh, 20 to 30%. Of the damage dealt is lightning damage. So that's just going to be free damage. It's going to be AoE damage as well. Why not take it? It's free and it's easy to get. You can get it in the first zone. So that's really, really good. Uh, and as you can see, we don't have a codex or a legendary on the weapon. The reason for that is that I don't recommend it. Um, every other slot of gear can lag a little bit behind an item level. What I mean by that is that you're not going to replace all of your gear every time you level. But your weapon, I think that you should. Uh, the weapon damage is a massive, massive important part and scalar of your damage and your abilities. So making sure that you maintain a high level weapon and that you uh, you always keep it uh, as high item level as possible and you keep upgrading it as well, even if you want to, to get that that further range to allow you to push a monster in some difficult fights, uh, you're going to be swapping it all the time. So as specking it with a legendary uh, is not recommended. You're just going to flood away all your gold and you're going to be tempted to keep it for longer than you should. And it's just going to hurt you in the long run. If you get a really good legendary that's high item level and does good damage, that doesn't mean don't use it, obviously. But as soon as you find a rare that scales it up in damage, make sure you think about swapping it. That's going to be really, really good. For your gem, you're going to go for the uh, Sapphire, which is going to be critical strike damage to crowd control enemy. So that's going to be really good because you're going to have slow on pretty much everything. Uh, so that's going to be good. Because you're running 50% chance to make things vulnerable, you could also go for Emerald if you want. But pretty much everything is going to be crowd control and slow. So that's going to be really good. But vulnerable could also be viable. Um, but you don't have 100% vulnerable state. So this is going to be really, really good. Ruby, maximum life, just a no-brainer. That's really, really good. You get a lot of HP from this one. You also could go for damage reduction while fortifying. That's also a viable option because you're going to have a lot of fortify. But Ruby is just really nice. Max life, really good. And then uh, diamond for the jewelry. So you can get that sweet resistance. If you need more armor, feel free to use coal. But in general, diamond is going to be really good, especially because you're running this here. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it for that. For the gear that you're going to be looking for, uh, anything that has companion skill is not going to be bad at all. Anything that has werewolf or, or shape-shifting uh, plus skill. So for shred, for rabies, that's going to be really good. You're going to be looking for plus vitality, plus maximum life percentage. That's going to be really good. Critical strike, critical damage. Uh, you're going to be looking for that willpower to make sure that you increase the damage of your skill as a druid. That's going to be really, really good. Uh, close damage is going to be good. 
crowd control damage is going to be good as well. So look out for those. That's going to be really, really, really nice. All of that sweet gear is going to increase your damage by quite a lot. Uh, so that's going to be it mostly for the Poison Werewolf leveling build here. So you got your skill tree, you got your legendary, your gear, your gem, your boons. You got everything ready to go and you should be ready to slap some demons. So this build is going to be really fun. You're going to get a lot of poison spread and I think you're going to have a wonderful time. Before you head out, let me know if there's anything uh, that you would like to see differently in these videos. Maybe I'm talking too fast. Maybe there's some points I'm not covering. Or if you just really enjoy the video, let me know in the comment section. I would also like to know what class you're going to be leveling first when Diablo uh, 4 comes out. Would love to know. If it's not Druid, I mean, you're most likely going to be playing Druid, but it could be an alt as well. So what's the first class you're going to be leveling? Let me know in the comment. And make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting out a ton of Diablo content when the game comes out. This is going to be my main game for quite a long time. Uh, I've been really excited about the release of this, and I'm going to be putting out a lot of content. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I know it's cheesy. We keep saying it, but it's because it really helps. It really, really does. Uh, also, if you want to come visit me on Twitch, I stream every single day at 11 a.m. EST. Every single day of the week, I stream on Twitch. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be playing Diablo. We have a massive event plan. We're going to be eligible for the mount that you can get the horse for the support a streamer event. We're going to have Twitch drop enable. It's going to be a party. It's going to be great. Don't miss out. That's it, chat. That's it, my friend. Uh, I said chat. I'm streaming too much on Twitch. It's YouTube. That's it, YouTube. I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in Twitch chat. If you want to come say hello and hang out or maybe in the comment here in this video on YouTube, if you guys want to say something in here and give me some criticism or some feedback or answer my question, that would be awesome. Otherwise, I'll see you in Sanctuary, my friend. Bye-bye.